What's up, YouTube? I am the one and only Shadow7201. You are currently tuned into the Brony Guide. <clears throat> and I want to thank you for tuning in. Last episode, we talked about the five stages of becoming a Brony. This episode, we're going to be talking about the different tips and tricks and techniques to coming out and basically letting people know that you, as a person, are a brony. And that you'd like to watch the show, My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. Obviously. Now, a uh, little bit of a change in the schedule for the next episode. Instead of exploring the different types of fans in the fandom, I will actually be looking at... <coughs> well, basically, an... an I'm basically giving you an instructional video on how to buy the merchandise. And it's not as easy as you'd think. Now, <clears throat> I am using a new camera. So, better graphics, better HD graphics. And, yeah, that's it. That's it for me. So, on with the show. Now, as I said before, in this episode, we will be talking about the, dif uh, the different tips, tricks, and techniques to coming out and letting people know that you, as a person, are a brony and that you do like to watch My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. <clears throat> These tips will also help you basically prepare yourself for what's to come. So... Here base well here are the do well here's basically what you should do. So, first of all, be confident. If you don't feel like there's anything wrong with being a brony, then why should other people? Uh, this works in all aspects of life. If you're confident, that will translate into what you're doing. Two start with just one person make sure that it's someone you know make sure that it's someone you trust it's someone that you know very dearly and uh, somebody that will accept you no matter what so for me it was easy I chose my mom because well, let's face it she's my mom <clears throat> she is awesome she will love me no matter what <clears throat> uh, Sorry, I'm using a script, so, um, now this, well, it might be hard for some people in choosing, in choosing their particular person, but just try to think of that one person that you know would most easily accept you. Well, would most easily accept this. Three. It might help to have a mental list of things that make the show but that make the show as great as it is. So, uh, you know, your basic your basic stuff would be uh, good animation, good story writing, uh, great voice acting. <clears throat> you know, typical stuff. Oh, great songs. That can't forget the songs. Fourth. Don't come across as too naughty about the show. Express that you really like the show, but stay calm. Uh, if you let your true fandom out too early, you know, people are going to be a bit weirded out by you. So, uh, you want them to know and respect that you like the show. You can try converting them later. I wouldn't try it. Because, well, I'll tell you later. Once you get validation from one or two people, your confidence will grow, allowing you to be more open about it. Trust me on this. <clears throat> it works. 
It especially helps if you manage to convert others to complete bronies as well. You know, so uh, say you've got one or two friends at school that you've told they've given the show a shot, <clears throat> and uh, they're behind you 100%. So that helps. Sixth, expect to be laughed at. Now, I don't mean that you should just suck it up and let people berate you. It's not cool. But take it for what it is. Now, you like a show about multicolored talking ponies that have, you know, cute little markings on their asses. <clears throat> yeah, it, it's funny. It is. It is kind of funny for a grown man or a grown male to be watching a show like this. It is funny. <clears throat> so, embrace that part of it. Especially around not well, just embrace it. Uh, don't be so quick as to try and justify it, because, well, don't be so quick as to try and justify your being a fan. You, know, you can justify the show, but don't be so quick to justify it. Like, okay, sorry. Um, though it is really tempting, but, um, you know, if they ask you, answer them honestly, and, um, uh, don't... Well, if they didn't ask, don't tell them, because that shit does get extremely annoying. Trust me. <clears throat> so, don't push it on people, or ask them to give the show a shot. If they're curious about it, they will. They will most definitely give it a shot if they're curious. If not, it's alright. Doesn't matter. Now, here's what you should definitely not do. Don't randomly tell people in the middle of some unrelated conversation. Because that is just weird that you would just stri just straight out of nowhere bring that out <clears throat> yeah no, really you don't you don't have to actively tell people that you are a brony like you don't have to tell them at all <clears throat> let it happen organically someone says what's up with that pony thing <clears throat> Or, you know, sees you watching an episode or asks where you're going when you're heading to a meetup. Just let it happen. So, the basic premise is that it will only be a big deal if you make it a big deal. The calmer and um, less irritable you are about the topic, the more likely people are to, are to simply accept it. <clears throat> now, I'm going to guess that most of you are worried about telling your friends. Uh, friends joke with each other. <clears throat> and they tease each other. And they do this all the time. I mean, it's not uncommon. Really, it isn't. If it is, like, if, if your friends have never done it to you, then really, that's just an anomaly out of it. But um, if they do joke and tease, and tease you about it, just take it as another ribbing. You know, just shrug it off. Because, you know, shrug it off laugh at it and realize that again yes this is funny you like a show about 
cute, colorful little ponies. My little pony, my little pony, <sighs> the element of harmony that Pinkie Pie best represents, laughter, it is your best weapon. So be ready to use it. Real friends will accept you for who you are, but don't be but don't be annoying about it. And don't expect any of them to come over or to come along with you. Because honestly, a lot of my friends have asked me about it. I've told them about it. They don't really want anything to do with it. Fine by me. I'm I'm okay with it. You don't want to watch the show? All right. I don't blame you. <clears throat> I'm not gonna push it. I'm not gonna push it upon them. And neither should you. Yes, I can. It gets annoying. But what you should do is leave the door open. Like leave that door open for them. Don't try and push them through or pull them through. They'll follow when and if they're ready. <sighs> so, that's it for this episode. I'm sorry about all the little pauses in there. Uh, that's just something that I do. Um, again, next episode is going to be a how-to video on buying all the different merchandise, how you should go about buying the merchandise when in store. <clears throat> because, again, it's not easy buying the merchandise in store. People do judge you. But uh, I'm gonna leave that to the next. I'm gonna leave that to the next video. <clears throat> and uh, oh yeah, next video. Uh, I'm also gonna do a can crush. Yeah. So, um, if you guys want to see me get completely licked <coughs> on, you know, this, then tune in, because it's going to be interesting. <coughs> Alright, so that is it for this episode. To all you bronies out there that are coming out. I wish you the best of luck, and to all the bronies out there that are just discovering that they're, that they're bronies, welcome to the herd. <laughs>